Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mouse and I'm going to play Ultima 7. I got this game on GOG and I read this would be a masterpiece in the whole Ultima series, so let's just see what this is about. I'm a completely, uh, I'm a complete new, probably. But let's see uh, if we can recapture feeling that these guys were talking about on GOG. Hello? Avatar! Know that Britannia has entered into a new age of enlightenment. Know that the time has finally come for the one true Britannia to take his place at the head of his people. Under my guidance, Britannia will flourish, and all of the people shall rejoice and pay homage to their new guardian. Know that you too shall kneel before me, Avatar. You too will soon acknowledge my authority, for I shall be your companion, your provider. And your master! <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't think so, Bell. Indeed. Something is indeed amiss. It has open gateways to Britannia in the past. Behind your house lies the circle of stones. Why is the moon gate? What? Hello. I couldn't even read that. The black gate and the forge of virtue. Let's start a new game, shall we? This is horrible. I know it is shocking. Who could have done it? I know not. He had no enemies. Poor man. What is to be done? I know not. A rather large familiar man looks up and sees you. Oh, I gotta do something. The shock that is evident from his dumbfounded expression quickly evolves into delight. He smiles broadly. Mia Zendu. If I did not trust the infallibility of my own eyes, I would not believe it. I was just thinking to myself, if only the Avatar were here, then... Lo and behold, who says that magic is dying? Here is living proof that it is not. Dost thou realize me, Azendu, that I... that it hath been two hundred pretending years since we last met? Why thou hast not aged at all? So that must be a referral to the story of Ultima 6 then, probably. Iolo winks conspiratorially. He whispers, Do you no doubt to the difference in the structure of time in our original homeland and that of Britannia? He resumes speaking aloud. I have aged a little, as thou canst see, but of course I have stayed here in Britannia all this time. Oh, but Avatar, wait until I tell the others. They will be happy to see thee. Welcome to Trinstick. The distraught peasant interrupts. Ayolo. Show her the stables, my lord. Tis horrible. Yolo nods. 
Is that an eye? Anyway, his joy fading quickly as he is reminded of the reason he was standing there in the first place. Ah yes, our friend Petri here discovered something truly ghastly this morning. Take a look inside the stables. I shall accompany thee. Not right in Britannia. Perhaps Lord British will know the reason behind this tremor. Hello? You see a middle aged nobleman. Is that an eye? Yeah, I think it's an eye. YOLO! Who is this stranger? Why, this is the Avatar! YOLO proudly proclaims. Canst thou believe it? May I introduce thee? This is Finnegan, the town mayor. And this is Mia Zendu, the avatar. I simply cannot believe she is here. The mayor looks you up and down, not sure if he believes Yolo or not. He looks at Yolo skeptically. I swear to thee it is the avatar. The mayor looks at you again as if he was studying every pore on your face. Finally, he smiles. Welcome, Avatar. But just as suddenly, Finnegan's face becomes stern. A horrible murder has occurred. If thou art truly the Avatar, perhaps thou canst help us solve it. I would feel better if thou takest this matter into thine hands. Thou shalt be handsomely rewarded, if thou dost discover the name of the killer. Dost thou accept? Well, yes, of course. Petr here knows something about all of this. The peasant interjects. I discovered poor Christopher and the gargoyle, Inamo, early this morning. The mayor continues. Hast thou searched the stables? No. Then I suggest that thou lookst inside and talkst to me again. Alright. Well, we start off here our first question. You know, people at Gog said this was like a, um, a sort of a free world. Um, you see how I move about. Free world like, like Skyrim, like a sort of a Skyrim predecessor. Uh, I'm just figuring out the controls here. How do I look? Sign. Wall sign, yes. Okay. I guess I should have looked at some PDF from GOG. Anyway, let's move. Ooh, that man looks a bit torn. What was he thinking? A victim, clearly, yes. A lit source. What? Lit light source, yeah. Was this a rake of pitfork? Hello. A fence. Haystack. This is Mr. Gargoyle, probably. Well, get this bag. Do, do, do I now have the bag? I guess I do. Huh. Okay, alright, so that works. I just go do this and then pick up the 
pick it up and give them to myself, right? So what's the... Uh, do, do I have an inventory? Ah... Uh, this eye. So I have a bag. Ah, nice, with some stuff in it. So this is, what is this? This is a key. This is gargoyle jewelry. Bread. Torch. What's that? Three gold coins, alright. Well, I'm holding a dagger. Yeah, good idea. But I would say Mia, right? Thirty-six stones. Oh no! Of course, this is. I can carry thirty-six stone. I'm carrying ten at the moment. What's this? <laughs> that will be for some other time. What is this? Backpack. What I got in my backpack. Coins, a cup, lockpicks, clo cloth map, cloth map. Ah, this is my map, huh? Britannia. Okay, what's this? A bottle. Hmm. All right. So can I open this one? Wait, 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 can I open this one and then open this one? And then drag stuff from the to here? Yes, I can. Good. Let's keep it tidy. And some coins. Yes, all of them. Okay. You can go. And you can close. Alright. I have a bad feeling. Who the hell are you? What's this? This. by something and then what is this this is a rake this is a bucket what's in the goddamn bucket I don't even care I think I got all the stuff I stole stuff from the demon or the gargoyle okay I'll go back and talk to Mr. May where the hell are you would be a good time to look at a map, but then I have to go to I first. What is, what is this? Battle? Free Roman, okay. Just a map of Ritani, I don't... Don't you just love the birds? Anyway, what's... I'm looking for Mr. Mayor now. Where does this guy live? What is his sign? Yeah, what does it say? Okay, double click. What is... I don't even... Can you read this? Fam... Tam... Fampton... Fampton? You guys should do better than that. Can you talk? YOLO? Yes, my friend. The murderer. 
Ugly is it not? From what I have heard, neither Christopher nor Animal deserved so grisly a death. Thou shalt certainly ask everyone in town about it. Your friend snores. What art thou joker, milady? Dost thou not know thine old friend Giolo? I know. I never spoke with him. It is truly a shame. There are not many gargoyles living amongst the humans. This will only discourage the practice even more. Who the hell was Christopher? I did not know him, milady. The town has changed little, has it not? Everyone seems a little defensive, though. When we ran into each other, I was... <laughs> Come on, when we ran it into each other, I was passing through, e through and had stopped to visit my friend Finnegan. What about this Finnegan guy? He's a good man, the mayor of Finsig. He is. I've known him for years. Okay, gargles. Since that word last in Britannia, the gargles have begun to integrate with the humans. Most of them live on Sutek's old island, which was renamed Turfin. However, thou mayest see one there, what? Thou mayest see one here and there throughout the land, here and there throughout the land. Interesting. Why are you defensive here in this town? I think it best for thee to speak with thy, them thyself. There have been many changes since last thou didst visit Avatar. I think thou wilt feel at times a bit, well, old-fashioned. Where can I get a job? Why, right now, tis adventuring with that most courageous of all legendary heroes, the Avatar. Oh, that's your job, okay. Tell me about myself. Why, there is no doubt. Thou art the Avatar, my Asindu. However, thou mayest have some trouble convincing those who do not know thy face. Of course thou shouldst be safe around thy friends. Mm. Who are my friends? Thou must mean Shamino and Tupra. Yes, I mean them exactly. Shamino, my old friend. The best bet in finding that rascal is to look in Britain. He has a girlfriend employed as an actress at the Royal Theatre. Interesting. What about Dupre? I'm sure we shall find him somewhere. Last I heard, he was in Thelum. Didst thou know he was knighted? No, I did not. No, it is true. Lord British knighted him recently. Why he did so, I cannot imagine. All right. What about Britain? It has grown since thou last saw it. What? Paul's is now a virtual township of Britain. It dominates the east coast of Britannia. Lord British Castle is still the overwhelming feature. What about Lord British? My liege will be enormously pleased to see thee. We should travel to Britain, my post haste. I'm sure he can give th thee some valuable information and update thee on much of what thou hast missed in the two hundred years of thine absence. That you actually remember me. How old are you? Anyway, what about this trouble that you're having? Well, after all, thou hast been gone for two hundred years. Most of those who would recognize thee are long gone. Yes, including you. Sorry to be blunt and all, my friend, but there it is. Yep. Okay. It still lies between Britain and Trinsic, but it has grown further into Britain itself. Mm-hmm. Any more information? Certainly. LB is always a repository of the most amazing facts, eh? LB. Probably something to do with listening and not always talking. Speaking of information, it reminds me of something I have. I have. Oh, it reminds me of something. I have a little item which might be useful to thee. Tis an abacus. Tis an ab abacus. Use it to tally up and to tally up all of our gold. 
Okay, thanks. Bye. It is always a pleasure to speak with thee, my friend. Yes, now, okay, thank you. I want to visit this mayor. Then what is this? I don't even know what to say. What is this? What this? I don't even know. I can read that crap. So I'm, I'm assuming this is some co some castle thing, and I may or should be here. Can I enter? Hmm. Okay. The castle ends there. Can I talk to you? You see an alert and no nonsense card. Who the hell are you? Johnson. What's your job? I have the morning watch guarding the dock. I authorize the comings and goings of every ship. Interesting. What do you know about this murder? I did hear of this. When I arrived at my post at sunrise, I found Gilberto lying felt on the ground. Gilberto? Gilberto. Lying felt on the ground. If thou art asking if I saw anything, I did not. No one hath passed by me since I arrived at the dock. So what kind of ships? If thou dost want a ship, thou must get a deed from the shipwright. Thou must also have the password to leave town. Okay. What is it? The password to leave town? Huh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Long live the king? Thou dost not know the password. I'm sorry. The mayor may give thee the proper password. Well, do the do. Deed. Thou canst purchase that from Gargan, the shipwright. Alright then. Bye. So I must ask you to leave. Interesting. Good day. Hmm. this building fellowship hall that sounds nice sign this is a sign right can I get this yeah what does it say what what is this ship right probably it's an anchor right a house oh what a nice fountain what's this it's a Creature from above. What is that? Anyway. I guess they were clouds after all. Very nice fountains. So, what is this? Can I enter here? him. It's the mayor. Hast thou properly searched the stables? Yes. What didst thou find? A bucket, a body, a key. Hmm, a key. Perhaps if thou dost ask Christopher's son about it, he may know what it is for. Interesting. Password. I will give thee the password when thou hast given me a report on the progress of the investigation. Well, art thou ready to answer some questions concerning the investigation? Nah. Oh well, carry on with thy investigation. A crime like this has never happened in Trinset before. I cannot believe this happened to Christopher and Einamore. Please, explore the town. I would appreciate if I... if... Thou wouldst bring me a report on thy progress. Be sure to ask everyone in town about the murder. After speaking with Christopher's son, thou mightst next want to speak with Gilberto, the guard on watch, watch at the dock last night. 
the way he hesitates, then leans in to speak quietly. Actually, I've seen something like this before. It was about four years ago in Britain. Okay, so what happened in Britain? It was before I came to Trinsic. There was a murder with strikingly similar aspects, like a body was found mutilated exactly like poor Christopher. It appeared to be a ritualistic killing. I would wager that whoever was responsible for that murder is the culprit behind this one. Or a copycat. You don't know this, Mayor. Alright. I think I'm, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. Let's go find this son. Where does this... Oh, the, the mayor nods his head at you and goes on about his business. Alright, let's move. Get out of here. I wanna get out of here. I hate these controls, by the way. It, there, what's this? Weeds? Now you want to smoke some weeds? What? Yeah, can I get them? No. Maybe this guy was at the stables. There was someone up here. Him. Yeah, him. You. You see a distraught peasant. Art thou really the avatar? Of course I am. Petra bows before you, milady. What do you know about this murder, Petra? You reported it, did you? I discovered poor Christopher and animal earlier this morning. I did not touch a thing. It made me sick. I, it did. Talk like uh, some Star Wars creature I know. You do. Yeah, these footprints. They both lead out the back way, out the back way, yes. They must be the tracks of the murderer. Or you, you've been walking here. His eyes widened a bit more. Or murderers. Certainly from the number of tracks that I see, yes, yes. Where is the sun? Where is the sun? Can't get in there. I can get out there. Get in? Get out. Interesting. Move. You, who are you, man? Why are you running? Who the hell are you? Oh my god, that's the evil Star Wars Death Star or something on Destroyer heading. Yeah, yes, yes, you. Oh god, stop. Peasant. You see a young woman with a bright smile. What do you know about this murder? She looks concerned. This awful Christopher was a nice man. Didst thou know he was one of our members? I cannot believe he is dead. Members? Of the fellowship. We meet every night at the hall. Thou shalt visit. Someday. Bye. Okay, now I need to find this, uh, this sun, but where the hell is the sun? Who ran? I need a map of this town. Somebody give me a map of this town. What? Hmm. 
Not so good is though to steal, but let me not do that. There's nobody can read this. Is that a trick or something? Why something? Hello, who are you? Buy something. Okay, you're a shopkeeper. What the? Look, what the hell? Okay. No, I don't need that. I'm trying to find this. This son of Christopher. Who the hell are you? Okay, this is him. Who art thou and what dost thou want? You realize the boy has a sling in his hand. You face the boy and tell him who you are. The last time I heard that one I fell off a prehistoric creature from Gordon. Boy, this is the Avatar. Upon my word she is. She has come to help thee. Then the boy narrows his eyes, studying you. He slowly lowers his weapon, ready to act in case it's a trap. You admire the boy's obvious experience in dealing with strangers. You and Spark stare at each other. Okay, Spark is name. He is not sure what to do. Finally, he nods his head. All right, I believe thee. Thou dost look like paintings I have seen. I am sorry, my lady. Who the hell are you? It's all been called Spark. Key. That looks like the key to Father's chests. I wonder where it was. I cannot believe Father is dead, and poor Animo, Animo. It is so strange. I dreamt it was happening. Well, in a way. Last night I was having a nightmare about Father. I dreamt that he screamed and it woke me up. Yeah, I looked around the house, but he was not in his bed. I was wide awake, so I went out to find him. No, I did not find him, at least not right away. But I did see something. What did you see? I was in front of the stables. I saw a man and wingless gargoyles, gargoyle running from behind the building. They ran toward the dock. Then I went inside and found father. Spark's voice falters and he begins to sob a little. What about this nightmare boy? Stop crying. I know it sounds witless, but I dreamt that a big red faced red faced man was watching down on everything and he looked down and he noticed father. That is all I remember. Interesting. More? All I saw of him was that the man had a hook for a right hand. Well, his Captain Hook. It's always his Captain Hook. What about this hook? Wilt thou go find the man with the hook? Let me help thee, the boy pleads. His tears cease and his face takes on a determined, forceful look. Take me with thee, please. I must avenge father's death. If thou dost not take me with thee, I will follow thee anyway. Interesting. The boy is all excited now. I'm an expert with sink shot. I can strike sewer rats with almost every shot. Oh boy, I, I need someone who can do that with every shot. And I'm small, I do not eat much. Please take me, please ask me to join thee. Yoda whispers to you, I do not know about taking a child on the road with his with us, my lady. Suddenly Spark lets his sling fly. His target, a small fly hovering above Yoda's head, is smacked out of the air. You laugh as Yoda yelps, jumps away, curses and runs his fingers through his hair. I told thee I'm a good I'm good. May I join? Sure boy. Hooray! The boy leaps with delight. So, um, anyway, what about this gargoyle? I cannot tell one gargoyle from another. I could not identify him except that he had no wings. 
All right. What about our animal? He was a very nice gargoyle. He helped father a lot and did tasks in his stables. I cannot think why anyone would want to kill him. All right. Bye. All right. I'll speak with thee later. Okay, so father's chest, huh? What's his house? This one? Can we get here? Yes, we can. Let me see. Where is the chest? What's this? A backpack. What's this? A book. A table with a sack on it. Some boots, leather gloves. Hmm. But no chests. Hmm. Here is a chest, a locked chest. Open it. Oh god, now I have to go do this. This is the key I got. Oh, that's not very helpful. Huh, well, that's, that's interesting. Do I have to use it or something? Hmm. Any ideas, boy? How do I use something? You can't be... I mean, come on. Where's the key? Where's the key? Here it is. Key, 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 key. What, here? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Double click and then go. Okay, open this. Nice. Get the money. Ooh, 100. Nice. Your father won't be needing this. Or this. Or this. Thank you, father. Um, let's see what I got. Hey, there should be something else. Did you put it here? Okay. What's this? Read it. Thou hast received payment. Make the delivery tonight. Okay, so he was delivering something. Interesting. Call for a save. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Are you sure want to save over this old game? Yes, I wish to do so. Good. No. Okay. Anyway, that wraps this up for this episode. See you next time.